true. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually fix all the errors with installing and playing in the Minecraft launcher. So uh, let's get into it. Now here are some ways that I actually think that you can solve this problem. And I'll show you guys many ways, so if one way doesn't work, make sure to stay to the end to actually try all the different ways. And leave a comment down below and I will answer it saying another way to actually fix that problem. But please be specific in the comments when you actually comment it. But let's begin. So starting off, what you're going to want to do is actually check for Windows updates. Yes, Windows actually may have to update and that may be the reason that you can't play or install it. Now since it is moving to Microsoft, it obviously has things to do with Windows. So you're going to want to make sure that it's updated. What you can do is either go into the search bar or settings and search for updates. So as you can see, if I typed in updates, I can just see, we'll check for updates and click on it. Now once I'm actually here, I can just see that there is some pending updates that I actually want to do. So obviously these might be useful for actually getting rid of things. So what you're going to want to do is basically press install now and install all of the updates. So obviously you may have to restart your PC when you actually update this, but do all of the updates and then try to see if you can install slash play the game. Now the second way is for installing it and is actually turning off your firewall. Now turning off your firewall slash antivirus may actually help you install it. Even though it is a safe source, your firewall may actually be blocking it from being installed. So you're going to want to hop back into settings and this time search for security. As you can see, I clicked on Windows security and it will pop up with all of these. Now this will vary whether you're actually using a antivirus software or if you're just using Windows security itself. But once you're actually here, you're going to want to go down to fireworks and network protection. Then once you're here, you're going to want to either open up your own thing or you can switch it here if you are actually using Windows security. I'm actually going to use McAfee for this example. What I'm going to want to do is click on these four boxes and then go all the way down to firewall. Now once you're in here, you can just simply press turn off. And then it will give you a time. You can just do a when I restart my PC, never, or whenever you just basically switch it back. I would recommend 15 minutes because I doubt it will take longer than that. So simply press turn off and you can turn it back on at any time that you want. But as you can see, the firewalls will be off and you can try to install it once again. And then once you're done, obviously remember to turn back on the firewall since it is pretty important. So now what you're going to want to do is log back into the Microsoft Store. And that is the next way of actually fixing the problem since you guys may have been logged out if you're trying to do it directly from the launcher. Or you guys may have to actually log back in and out and this will cycle the thing giving you the ability to actually install it once again. So what you're going to want to do is go to the Microsoft Store then click on this little icon here which is your profile. Once you are there, you will actually see your email and what you're going to want to do is basically click on sign out and then sign back in, which is really simple. And the other way of actually doing this is going through the Xbox app. Now if you actually download the Xbox app or already have it, you can simply search for it in the search bar or launch it within the Microsoft Store. But what you're basically going to want to do is open it up and log into there. Now as you can see, I went into the Xbox app and as you can see, I'm already logged in. Once I want to go to search for games and then type in Minecraft. Now once I actually type in Minecraft, I will actually see both Minecraft games right over here. So what you're going to want to do is click on the one that says Minecraft for Windows plus Launcher. So then once you are actually here, it may say buy it, but that's not what you actually have to do. You can actually scroll down all the way over here and click on the launcher icon. Now once you have actually clicked on it, just scroll up and you can download it right here for free. Now this is very good as you don't actually have to purchase Windows 10 if you don't want to already. Even though it is a good game and you can access both games on the launcher. Now moving on to the next way is actually repairing the launcher if you can't play the game within the launcher or are getting this black screen. 
So what you're going to want to do is head over to your applications in the settings tab. Now this should be under apps and features. So what you're going to want to do is basically go to the search bar and search up Minecraft. Now once you have actually found the Minecraft launcher, just like so, you're going to want to go to advanced options. Once you're actually there, you're going to want to scroll down all the way to the reset tab. Then you're just going to want to click on the repair button. Now if this actually doesn't work, you're going to want to do reset. But before you actually do that and possibly repair it, you're going to want to actually use your files and actually back them up. So basically, you're going to want to go into the .minecraft folder, which you can find in percent app data by searching it in the search bar. So within .minecraft, what you're going to want to basically save is everything. So you're just basically going to want to highlight everything that you have here. You do not need to... So basically, you're just going to want to highlight everything that you have currently and press copy. Now what you're going to want to do is head to downloads and then paste that. Then you're just going to want to delete all that is in here and then you can click repair and reset. Obviously do repair first and it will not delete any data. But if you reset it will delete this data so make sure you have your important stuff like your world which is under the saves folder and your screenshot saved. Now you may also want to save resource packs, texture packs, mod packs and all of that type of stuff. But obviously remember to save those before you reset or repair. But I'm pretty sure repair will do nothing to harm you. So you should be good on that. Well guys, that is all the tips I have for you guys. I made this video because there was a bunch of you on my video asking how to actually solve these problems with a black screen or not being able to actually solve the problem with installation. But those are all of the tips I have for you guys. Make sure to comment down below if you're actually having any struggles or new problems that may occur. Obviously, please be a little bit descriptive so I actually know what's going on instead of just saying, well, install for me. But I hope this will help you guys. And if not, just leave it down below and I'll either make a video or respond to that comment depending on how much people actually ask the same thing. Anyways, also comment down in my post below because I'm doing actually something for a thousand subscribers. I'm actually making a video about redstone builds for you guys. So comment down your redstone build that you wanted me to make, make it anything that you want, and I'll prioritize the ones with the most likes. Obviously, since I may not be able to do everyone's comments. So far there are two, but just comment down below on my latest community tab posts. Anyways, once again, thank you guys for a thousand subscribers, it is all very great, and thank you guys for the tremendous support so far. I hope you guys enjoyed, once again, leave a comment down below, and anyways, I will see you guys next time. Remember to like, comment, and share. But yeah, peace out.